Hi everybody, it's Lance here again. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this Oidroid Show LCD display. It's a 2.2 TFT LCD display. And although um, Hard Kernel, the company that provides the Oidroid boards, is selling this item, this can actually be connected to your Raspberry Pi. So it's a really, really cheap way, it's only $25, to add an LCD display to your Pi project. So the reason it's so easy to interface with a Pi or any any other board is because it's basically communicating over the serial USB port. So if you can connect it to a serial USB port, download the libraries as long as you're running Linux, uh, because they're provided, you can talk to this display and use it on your Pi project. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, in this little video. Well guys, here it is. This is the Raspberry Pi 3. I've bought a little enclosure which comes with it. Um, makes it nice and neat. So let's stick it in the enclosure. It goes plonks in there like that. And this little bit goes in here, clips in here, bang wallop. And the this is a port cover. So we'll shove that in here like this and clip that in. There you go, it's nicely clipped in. And then this one on this end as well, that clips in here and this is the top. Now that, that could actually be, that's an opening for the shield. Remember the, the, um, the show, the LCD display? Now you could hack this about and put the, if you wanted to create some project which needed a display like this facing upwards you could actually chop this case up or we'll make another case to plug this this LCD display anyway we'll, we'll put that on there now so it's very easy to connect this display you all you got to do is connect the micro SD cable here basically to the display in there and then connect it to one of the USB ports in this case I'm connecting it to one that's it really and then I'll show you how you can make this display come alive using a Raspberry Pi so here it is <clears throat> guys this is the um, I've just got this on the floor here I'm just gonna <clears throat> plug in the Ethernet cable like so and we don't really need to plug into the HDMI because I'm gonna use the ethernet to talk to it and then just the power and watch this it should light up here if we connect the power you should see the display come on <clears throat> there you go so <clears throat> it's alive and we will be able to talk to it very shortly so I'm just gonna put that here so you can actually see the display coming up. Uh, okay, so let's just let's bring this down here a little bit so it's in view. <coughs> so the Raspberry Pi is alive. It's talking to this thing because this display because you saw the the thing flicker. <coughs> There's a reset button on here. Let's just reset it. That should come up there you go so it's actually the display is coming up it's actually alive it's been powered and what we're going to do now is I'm going to go onto the screen now onto the um, onto the computer talk to this this uh, Raspberry Pi using SSH and uh, we'll show you how that works so hi guys me back Again, uh, there's a couple of windows open here, but basically the most important thing you want to look at is here. The, the IP address for this particular Raspberry Pi is on my internal network is ending with a 106. So let's try and log into this Pi remotely. And we'll just, because uh, I've already downloaded the libraries. So I will show you that later on. But basically, if we if we do an LS, there, there's the actual, if we go to this, this is where Oidra show examples are so let's just go here and 
let's have a look at the examples. Let's change the examples directory. And let's go to Linux because I'm using Linux. And there you get. Well, there's a program I'll, I'll show you. It's called Basic. Uh, it's just writing one string. And you'll see that the display there, you can see it's changed to runtime recruitment. We get you. Now, if we look at the, the code for that, basic.c, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's the code. Uh, I'll just get out here. Look, it's just basically, there's the board rate. It's setting, because it's a serial port, setting it to zero, zero the, the first uh, USB port that's for on there, it's creating a buffer. And uh, that's really the, the routine down here is the, that's the serial setup routine. Uh, that's just setting up the acknowledgements and everything. Um, and then we're just writing a string of data. Uh, down here, there's the actual string. Yeah, we're just writing the data out there. So that's basically what it is. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's, lo let's look at something a little bit more complicated. Let's look at the status. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll, um, we'll run up a thing called status, which is basically the status of um, the system. And... So you can see there, it's in a constant loop now, and it's just really painting out, painting out the the different cores. In this case, it's only looking at two cores here, core one. Not actually looking at all the cores, and it's trying to figure out what they're doing. Now this code, because it was written for the Oidroid, the core information is not accurate because it's looking in the wrong place, but but anyway, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that you can use this, this display on your Raspberry Pi. Pretty straightforward. Let me see if I can send a picture as well. Let's try and send a picture. There you go. So it's painting the pictures um, that we put in there. So you can see it's working pretty well. There doesn't seem to be any problem with it. Now. Don't forget, you've got to reload all the libraries. Go back to this website and make sure that you've loaded all of these libraries. Right? So you've got to get this from GitHub, load all the libraries and examples, and then you've got to compile. Don't forget to compile any changes that you make. And you're ready to rock and roll. So there you go. It's uh, basically Oidroid show using a Raspberry Pi. Pretty, pretty good, huh? Okay, thanks very much.